Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I found these Hershey candies. They're heart-shaped. It's um, Hershey's Milk Chocolate and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They were all mixed up in different color foil wrappers. Just really pretty, kind of classic Valentine candy. So I put together a very simple treat bag. I want to run you through that project today. Let's start with the Stampin' Up! supplies that you'll need. First, I've got a bunch of banners. This is a die set. We're going to use this bitty little banner here and make a tag. And then I've got the Sealed with Love bundle, which includes the Love Notes framelits. And we're going to use this heart, this arrow. We're going to use this little heart right here. And we've got the Sealed with Love stamp set, where we're going to use these bitty little Love You Lots greeting and a couple of stamps from the set. For your materials, you'll need a two inch treat bag cut down to, let's see here, what did I cut that down to? Five inches. You'll need some designer series paper. This is the um, Sending Love designer series paper. And that's two by three and it's gonna be scored at one and a half. So let's do that real quick. And just zip a quick score line at one and a half. I've got a piece of silver foil that's one half inch by two and a quarter. Some scraps of Whisper White. This is one by three and a half. Uh, this is one and a quarter by two. They're just little pieces to do your die cutting and stamping. And then a scrap of Real Red cardstock. And that's uh, two and a half by two. All right. I've got some black and white Baker's Twine, and that's about 15 inches. It's probably. Um, it's got to be a little bit longer because we're going to wrap completely around the treat. Okay, let's do a little stamping and some die cutting, why don't we? I'm bringing in my Stamp and Pierce mat. I love this. It makes your uh, polymer images turn out so much more clear. Got my real red stamping pad. We're going to stamp this heart from Sealed with Love three times. And then this kind of floral heart, a little bit bigger one. Stamp that right in the center of your raw red scrap. And then last bit of stamping for this project. I've got that little Love You Lots greeting. And we're going to ink that up with some black ink. And we'll stamp that one right in the center of our scrap. Time for us to do a little die cutting. We're going to lay those pieces on our cutting pad. It's on a magnetic platform, which I love. Makes it easy to cut all these little bits at once. Okay, we're going to take this little banner and put it here. We're going to leave just enough room to punch a hole in this banner on one end and make a tag. Then our arrow, I like to let the magnets kind of spin it wherever it's going to sit tight and then I move my paper underneath it. Okay, we've got everybody lined up the way we want them. We're going to add the top plate and carefully run that through so that we don't knock anybody out of position. I've cut the two additional hearts that we need already. They're stamped and cut, so we've got three there now. All right, to get these little detail dies, die cuts out of the die, we're gonna use our die brush. There's our little silver arrow. And now the heart. We don't want to tear this little heart. Something I love about this Sending Love um, stamp set with the Love Notes dies is this fun little die stamp combination. We get the perfect little dimensional heart. Now I've got my Stampin' Trimmer and I'm going to cut this label and make it a tag. 
So all I'm gonna do is put the tail end of this little banner on the line and cut off about maybe a quarter inch. Punch a hole in the tag with a 1 8 inch hole punch. Now our chocolates. I love, what I love about this, and I saw it right away, is there's a little embossed heart in the center of these chocolates. If you take the hearts that we just stamped, add a little piece of dimensional on the back, they sit right in that little embossed place, just perfect, like they were made for each other. I think Hershey and Stampin' Up! were in cahoots when they designed these products. These are just perfect for Valentine's Day. Just like they are, they're cute. Sprinkle a few of those on a coworker's desk. My goodness. You'll be popular at the office or at school. All right, so there they are, all dressed up. And we're gonna put them in this little two inch bag. Okay, two inches, I cut it down to five. It's the perfect size for three of those. And then we're gonna bring that designer series paper in and a bone folder. And we're going to top our bag with the paper. Bring in a little stapler it right in the center. Then we'll take our little dimensional heart embellishment here and add some liquid glue. We want to skip the center of the heart, just bottom here and at the very top and around the edge. Spread out the glue a little bit goes a long way. But the reason we don't want any adhesive there is because we're going to slide the arrow behind there and we don't want to make a gluey mess. We'll center that to cover our staple. Add a bit of liquid glue to the back of the arrow. You can go really lightly. Doesn't need much. And then slide that underneath where we left the glue Isn't that fun? So thoughtfully designed. How do you like that? We've got the dimension, the arrow is the perfect size, slides right in between the layers. I just love that. Okay, now for our little tag. What you wanna do is leave enough off of the left side to tie a small bow, but then wrap the cord around the tree two times. I'm going to tie a knot that's left of center and then I'm going to thread the tag. Once the tag is where you like it, a tiny piece, a little half a dimensional, will keep it where you like it, and then tie a bow for embellishment. Let's trim the ends. How cute and fast was that? 
It's not too late to get these supplies in time to do some Valentine crafting. With quick, easy ideas like this and Stampin' Up!, you'll make anybody's Valentine's Day a little bit brighter. And right now during celebration, when you order the Sealed with Love stamp set and the Love Notes framelits as a bundle, and grab a pack of the Sending Love Designer Series paper, you are qualified for a free item from our celebration catalog. If you've got any questions about this project, or if there's anything Stampin' Up! I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.